Hey, 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 welcome back to another video. Happy New Year, happy holiday. I haven't posted a new video in a little bit. I took a little break from vlogging over the holiday season because I was spending time with family. I went to Hawaii, which if you haven't seen, it's all over my Instagram account, which I will link in the description, as well as my TikTok also linked in the description. And it was a wonderful end to 2021. I couldn't be more grateful. I just wanted to come on here and make this casual chit chatty video about how 2022 has been going so far. It has been six days in into the year and already so much I feel like has happened and give you a little catch up on how I've been feeling and what's going on. It's really interesting going into a new year because I feel like you're either super, super motivated to get things done, set your goals, get your resolutions, or if you're like me this year, <laughs> you're super unmotivated, you feel stuck and some unideal things have happened. So I just wanted to come on here and chat about that perspective because I feel like there's so much content out there about you know, being super motivated, being super inspired, being very proactive and productive. And that's just not how everyone feels at the beginning of the year. It's certainly not how I'm feeling at the beginning of the year. And I feel like I wanted to make this video because I think these feelings are also valid and they're also warranted and they should be talked about. So that's what this video is pretty much going to be today is me talking about the feelings that I've had at the beginning of this year so that A, you don't feel as alone. Hopefully if you resonate, I won't feel as alone and we can at least start the new year on that being the high note. Anyways, I flew back from Hawaii pretty much on the first day of 2022. I landed here at like 6 a.m. on the first and then ironically the next day I caught COVID. I feel like COVID is one of those things where everyone is getting it and it's been a topic of conversation for the last two years and yet there's still so much shame surrounding it. I remember when I got sick at first I just kept thinking like, no, like this can't be COVID. I'll feel so embarrassed. I'll feel so gross. And at the end of the day, yes, it is something that is still really unknown. It's still something that's very sporadic and something that we're constantly aiming to not get. But at the same time, it is a sickness. It is something that's natural and there's no shame that should be surrounded by it, especially if you've been safe and you've been responsible, which my circle and I have been. So it was definitely a downer to know that I did get it, but I also think Think that at some point it is pretty inevitable especially with this new variant and I feel like I just had to come to terms with that and kind of stop that narrative in my mind of being like no like I'm so ashamed that I have it. Anyways I tested positive for COVID and I was very lucky in the sense that my symptoms weren't super severe. I pretty much had one day where I felt really icky. I was in bed all day. I had chills. I had a fever. I was sweating profusely and I had like just a lot of heat coming out of my throat. It basically felt like cold and flu symptoms. I just took a bunch of Advil, drank a lot of hot water, and the next day I felt infinitely better. I feel like all of my symptoms really condensed into one shitty day, and then the days following were really just a little bit of a sore throat, which went away after a day or two, as well as some congestion, which I still have now, and I do have a residual cough that happens every once in a while. On the day that I'm filming this, I would have had COVID for around five days now, which is around the time where the symptoms start to dissipate, so I'm hoping that the cough and the congestion will go away soon. I also found that one of my symptoms was I was really tired. This was my first week back at work after the holidays and I just so happened to also have COVID. So I think those two together just made the fatigue exponentially more. So I was really tired this week, but I am very lucky in the sense that my symptoms were relatively mild and that the recovery was quite quick. On another note, I also um, got word from my freelance client. If you don't know, I do social media freelancing on top of my nine to five social media content production role on top of being a content creator. Freelance was something that I took up mid-2021 and it was a really nice stream of extra income especially after I moved out in October. It was really nice to have that income flowing in but unfortunately this month my freelance client did let me know that they were reprioritizing some of their initiatives and TikTok was not on that list. So I no longer have an active freelance client right now which you know at first was really stressful and I think it also gave me those feelings of shame as well because I was like oh no I you know got 
got dropped as a contractor and it wasn't a great feeling. And obviously the financial aspect of it as well, having to tighten budgets and be a little bit more aware of my spending and expenses and all of that kind of stuff. It's nothing that isn't doable, but it's definitely something that was unideal, especially at the beginning of the year on top of the fact that I'm sick. So all in all, I think the beginning of this year has tested me in certain ways and I'm optimistic that things will get better from here. But sometimes that's just how it is, you know? Bad things happen sometimes and life goes on. I think the real kicker on top of that is that because this is all happening at the beginning of the year, you're constantly absorbing content from other people that are all about this positive new year, new me mindset while you're out here being like new year, why is this happening to me mindset? You know what I'm saying? I feel like that almost expedited my feelings of feeling down and unmotivated. And it's not really something that's talked about around this time of year. I feel like there's one very strong narrative of like, you need to crack down and better yourself and have all these goals and resolutions and like crush it this year. And 2022 is your year and you're that girl. Guess what? That's not how I feel. Bluntly put, I've never felt less motivated in my entire life. Dave. Maybe that's a bit dramatic, but I haven't felt this unmotivated in a very long time. And it took me a while to be like, that's okay. Like being unmotivated comes in waves. You're not always gonna be motivated and you're not always going to be unmotivated. Everything in your life, including your emotions comes and goes. And just remember that your feelings don't care that it's January 1st. Your feelings don't care that it just became 2022. Your feelings are gonna come when they wanna come, regardless of whether or not it's the new year's and everyone else is celebrating. I feel like once I reminded myself of that and came to terms with the fact that it's not wrong to be feeling these feelings at this time, it could have happened in April, June, October, October, December, it could have happened at any time and it probably will happen again at some random other time. It just so happens that there's so much other noise to compare yourself to because of the relevancy of New Year's right now. If you're feeling unmotivated, join the freaking club bestie. Like that's me too. I have no idea what I wanna be pursuing this year. I have no idea what goals I have this year. All I know is how I'm feeling right now and my motivation is to not feel this way anymore and then I'll take it from there. I feel like we've constantly had the narrative of like dream big, like shoot for the stars, but goals can be small and simple and yet still be as effective and as fulfilling and as worthwhile as the big goal. Of course it's good to have big goals, of course it's good to push yourself outside the limits, but they don't all have to be that way in order for them to be valid goals. They also don't have to be standard. You don't have to be like those people who are like, I'm gonna journal every day, I'm gonna write down my gratitudes every day and work out every day and wake up at 6 a.m. every day. That's not realistic for everyone. It certainly isn't realistic for me. Everyone's wins are gonna look different. And the more we come to terms with that, the happier and more secure and more settled that we'll be. Anyways, I just wanted to come on here and have this quick chat and you know, reassure anyone who might be feeling unmotivated or just stuck like I am because I'm sure I'm not alone and you're not alone either. And yeah, this year is gonna happen as it happens. I wish nothing but good vibes and growth and security for anyone watching this. And I know good things are coming regardless of how I'm feeling now and regardless of how the year started. Please do let me know what kind of content you wanna see on this channel. I do love sitting down and talking and vlogging my life for you all. And I hope you stick around this year. Bye.